In the new My Hero Academia chapter, something very strange happened to Bakugo. We see him being crushed and stabbed by Shigaraki and then suddenly it didn't happen. Was it symbolic for the painful word Shigaraki said to Bakugo or is it something that actually happened but for some reason then suddenly was no longer part of reality? Was it perhaps a vision? Did Bakugo see the future and then somehow prevent it? Or maybe it is not that deep, but then why does it look like Bakugo does indeed have a power up at the end of this chapter? Is this Bakugo's quirk awakening? If if you end up liking this video consider subscribing, please enjoy this video, let's go! The new My Hero Academia chapter 360 begins with Shigaraki stomping on Bakugo's head and saying that Midoriya should be arriving any moment. Either this is a small hint that Deku might actually be coming soon or Shigaraki simply doesn't know that Deku is currently confronted by several unknown people. His danger says is not activated, so they are either friends or near high-end nomus who do not have minds of their own that Deku can notice with his danger sense. We know that Yoichi, the first user of One for All, had a bad feeling when he noticed these people, suggesting that they might might indeed be something evil. So the only way Deku could arrive soon without us seeing what happened is if Deku has either already defeated the enemies and we won't know how he did it until later, or these people were no threat to Deku and he will then suddenly arrive with them together to fight Shigaraki. Another possibility of course would be the ability of the second use of one for all which might somehow allow Deku to appear directly to the battlefield, whatever that ability might be, later we could then find out how Deku managed to arrive so quickly when Deku uses the this ability again. Let's continue with the chapter. In connection with what Shigaraki said about Deku, he also mentions that it could be very useful that his quirk is currently erased. This could be because all for one might understand what Deku's intentions might be. We have the theory that Deku wants to confront Shigaraki in the common realm of one for all and all for one. Talk to him calmly without the influence of all for one. It can be assumed that the realm of all for one cannot be created to merge it with the realm of one for all as long as the all for one quirk is erased. Thus Deku will not be able to confront Shigaraki with his deepest desire to be saved by a hero. Then Shigaraki picks up Bakugo, kicks him in the air and then destroys Bakugo's equipment on his left arm and who knows, maybe he damaged that arm in the process. Of course, not as much as his right arm but it looks pretty brutal. So we can at least assume that both arms were useless for Bakugo at that moment and thus he had no chance to fight or defend himself properly. Shigaraki grabs Bakugo by the neck and Bakugo's new weaponry starts shooting around without a direct target. Bakugo finds himself in the worst possible situation. And then something very strange happens. I looked at this scene for hours and just couldn't figure out what happened. Before I wrote down this crazy idea, I asked a lot of people and no one could really tell me how exactly to understand this moment. This idea may be a bit far-fetched, but if you listen to it and try to understand what I mean, you will understand why I see this possibility. So after the page where Shigaraki grabs Bakugo by the neck, we then see right on the next page how Bakugo stares into the air or into nothingness. With a black background and his face being covered by the body parts that Shigaraki can create from his own body. The next panel again has a dark background, this time with a grey mood that is usually used for things like flashbacks, visions and so on. This panel shows how all the body parts that Shigaraki created completely cover Bakugo and then crush and stab him. We see blood splatter all over the place. Bakugo is definitely dead, there's no doubt about that, at least in this panel. No one can survive this, all the blood he lost alone will be enough to make him pass out. But then on the next page, the background is no longer dark and neither is the panel grey. Bakugo suddenly stares with a shocked face. It looks like he woke up from something. We see such a manga element that usually depicts things like sudden realizations. Or as I said, waking up from some kind of trance. Or that the person suddenly noticed something, like an attack coming from behind for example. I'm sure you know what I mean, basically Bakugo either experienced something and woke up, maybe a vision, or he noticed something, maybe something that's happening now or will happen soon. The strange thing is that Bakugo is not stabbed or crushed, nor is Bakugo covered by Shigaraki's body parts as we saw on the last page. In the panel we are seeing right now, Bakugo and Shigaraki have exactly the same position as we saw two pages ago. So how can we explain the page in between that obviously didn't take place, but clearly showed Bakugo's defeat? Or maybe it did take place but someone is no longer part of reality. Or maybe it was supposed to happen but something prevented it. Perhaps for some reason Bakugo saw the near future and did something to prevent it. Of course we could say that it was simply simple. After all, the words Shigaraki said to Bakugo were very hurtful. And so this panel could symbolize how the words mentally crushed Bakugo. However, that will not explain Bakugo's shocked face and the strange manga element on the panel. But what makes it even stranger is what happens at the end of this chapter in the context of these few pages. As the fight continues, Bakugo is rescued and taken to a safe
safe distance. Exhausted on the ground, Bakugo begins to sweat profusely and cry at the same time, and suddenly started mumbling strange things like right, finger, faint, while completely ignoring Gina's request to give him his arm, as if Bakugo is in some kind of trance again. Of course, it could be that Bakugo now does the same as Deku and starts analyzing his opponent to find a weakness. Just as Deku learned a lot from Bakugo, it is now time for Bakugo to do the same. That would put them on the same level in terms of respect and recognition. This makes them true rivals, not only striving to become greater than the other, but also learning from each other at the same time. The tears will then explain his shocked face and confirm that what we saw was simply due to what Shigaraki said, and the panel where we see Bakugo being crushed was simply to symbolize how much Shigaraki's words hurt Bakugo. I can definitely see that this could be the case. What I don't understand though is why we see little micro explosions around Bakugo's head, and why his eyes are unusually focused. It does indeed look like something is going on with Bakugo, something like a power-up, and if that's the case, then what if the power-up isn't just happening now, but at the moment we saw Bakugo staring into the void, as if he had just woken up from something, like a dream or something like that, basically an awakening. Do you see all these little star-shaped things on this panel? That's usually the representation of Bakugo's cluster explosion, but we know that Bakugo is actually unable to detonate his nitroglycerin anywhere on his body except on his hands and I believe feet. So what are those micro-explosions doing? there. How is that even possible? Does that have anything to do with what happened at the beginning of this chapter and why Bakugo is acting so strangely? We know that Bakugo was unable to use his hands at the moment Shigaraki grabbed him, however, knowing Bakugo, he could have continued to try to use his quirk. But in a different way than usual, perhaps he found a way to use his explosion with his cluster ability, with which he somehow managed to awaken a very unusual side effect of his explosion quirk. What I mean by that is that he didn't awaken a new quirk, but that something about his explosion quirk might have caused a new ability. For example, if you have a gravitation quirk, you can theoretically create black holes, but that doesn't mean you have a black hole quirk. At the same time, there could be someone who has a black hole quirk because they can create gravitational manifestations, but their main essence is not gravity but black holes, just as Bakugo uses nitroglycerin to create explosions. The effect would be the same, but one creates black holes as a side effect and the other because it's the main ability. I'm not a physicist or time travel professor and have no idea about theoretical physics, so I don't know if explosions could cause something in Bakugo. All I can do is put one and one together. We have seen one page of Bakugo's death, but then it didn't actually happen. Shortly after, we see Bakugo's shocked face and now Bakugo is bumbling Shigaraki's attack with his eyes wide open and focused with micro explosions all around him. Something is definitely going on. It looks like some kind of awakening of a quirk or whatever you want to call it, basically a power up, which puts Bakugo in a position to see things differently. Maybe he can see into the future or maybe he can sharpen his sense and see everything slowed down. The editor note also in the case that Bakugo sees something, all based on these micro explosions. However, what makes me a little doubtful about the idea that Bakugo can see a little bit into the future is that if what we saw when Bakugo was stabbed was indeed a vision of the future, then Bakugo must have done something to prevent that future. But we couldn't see Bakugo doing anything at all, instead it was Nijire who saved Bakugo, which then gives me another idea. There's the theory that the second use of one for all is somehow connected to Bakugo, maybe they have the same ability. In any case, they look very similar, have the same equipment and pretty much the same personality, almost like they are actually the same person just from different times. And here we know that the second user has stated that his quirk has evolved into something much more complex than it was when he was alive. It suggests that it may have even changed the essence. So what if Bakugo's quirk could have developed in the same way now when they both have the same quirk? Remember how the second user of One For All talked to the other vestiges when Deku was alone and tried to do everything himself? They were thinking about how they could help him and the second user said something like, if anything can help him, it's... And then suddenly Bakugo appeared. We assumed that it was possible that the second user did something to make Bakugo understand where Deku was. Maybe it has something to do with his quirk. We have no confirmation of that, it's just speculation. But it's also possible that he knew Bakugo was coming, so he basically predicted it. Maybe he saw the future. Maybe the same thing happened to Bakugo. We know that after seeing the panel where Bakugo was crushed, Bakugo woke up or realized something or whatever that panel meant. And then suddenly Nijiri attacked Chigaraki and saved Bakugo. If we assume that Bakugo and the second user of One for All have the same ability derived from the explosion quirk, then we can at least assume that it is possible that what helped Bakugo find Deku also caused Nijiri to attack Shigaraki before Shigaraki could defeat Bakugo. This prevented the future that Bakugo saw 
from happening. This means that Bakugo must have been somehow responsible for Nijiri attacking Shigaraki at that moment. Which of course is again very unlikely, that would just be way too exaggerated, it sounds far fetched, I agree with that completely. Also it wouldn't really fit with the fact that Deku wanted to use this quirk to move faster before the second user stopped him. So that's a bit contradictory as well, but it would still make sense if we assume that his quirk has a main sense, such as explosion, but he can do other things with it as well. I know this all sounds crazy, but I'm just trying to understand what is going on here. And it's just the fact that Bakugo is Deku's rival. Deku has the strongest quirk there is, so Bakugo has to be able to keep up with him somehow. And explosions just aren't enough. Bakugo can generate an infinite amount of sweat. He has a limit and he's starting to reach it. So if Bakugo can't awaken something crazy, then he'll never even come close to Deku who will go only higher and higher from now on. Because his quirks will get stronger every second he uses them due to the stockpiling ability. So if Bakugo can see a few seconds into the future, that's the least he needs to call himself Deku's rival. Let me know in the comments what you think of this theory, do you agree that this could be possible and if not, what do you think is the significance of that panel where Bakugo was crushed? What is the meaning behind his shocked face and also the micro explosions around him as he mumbles Shigaraki's attacks? If you like this video please leave a like, it really helps us a lot and if you want to see more My Hero Academia content, theories and chapter reviews, subscribe to our channel with the notification bell activated. Be sure to check the other series we cover on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.